Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is the morning today. Whatever you're seeing this. Good afternoon. Have a good night, whatever it is. But um, today is another GameStop haul, okay? So with this GameStop haul, I went on June 14th. And it was a Tuesday. And I think I went right after work. Let's look at my receipt so I can get my time. Yep, I went after work. And I went and... One spend my five dollar uh, monthly certificate, and also just kind of peruse around, see what they have. You know, sometimes certain game stops have good stuff in their clearance area, or whatever. But this time I went to a different GameStop. I didn't go to the local one I usually go to. I went to this different one my cousin told me about, and they actually had some good stuff. So shout out to him for telling me about it. So let me look at this receipt real quick. So it says I got two things. With the five dollar off, I mean they were both okay. I got two things. They were both on clearance, so they were marked down from what they originally were. So let's start with the first item. Go to here. What it is? Boba Fett puzzle. I still have to stick on there so you guys can see exactly. I don't know if it's focused or not. Um, Boba Fett puzzle, 500 piece. See how the bag, they advertise in a bunch of other dope Star Wars puzzles. I'm actually looking, some of them are very interesting. The thousand ones, the two thousand ones. I love how colorful Star Wars puzzles are. But I do also love the orange and the mutedness of this one right here. Hopefully the whole picture is this and there's no like black on it. I haven't opened it up yet. But yes, this puzzle was ten dollars, marked down to seven ninety seven, so eight dollars. And with my five dollar off, that actually ended up being two ninety seven. Obviously, do your math, John. It ended up being three bucks for this five hundred piece Star Wars puzzle. Star Wars Con, Lucas Films, and Buffalo Games and Puzzles. I don't think I've had a Buffalo Games and Puzzle before, but me and my dad like working on puzzles together. So 500 piece here. I might pull this out. Uh, today's a Sunday. I might pull it out today and we might finish it honestly. But speaking of my dad, that brings into the other gift that I got. As I'll put in some video. So the other thing that I got is a uh, ESPN Trivia Night game. Um, so that one was double on sale actually. It started at $20. Here, I still have the sticker so you can see. It started at $20, went down to $15, then was $10, all the way down to $8. And that one I didn't use the $5 on uh, because you're going to use it on, you know, one item. So the Boba Fett one was 3 bucks, and then this puzzle was 8 I mean, this the Boba Fett puzzle was 8 was 3 bucks. The trivia game was eight bucks, which brought me about to eleven dollars essentially. Ten ninety four was a subtotal, but the dollar tax brought me to twelve oh one. So I mean, for two items, twelve oh one out the door, not bad. On two things that were, the puzzle started at ten, and this started at twenty. So thirty dollar. $30 value for $12 is, you know, got it like left bigger than half off. So, yeah. And on top of that, I used a gift card. So I actually didn't spend a dime. You know, that's the beauty too. That's a good tip. If you have gift cards, always ask for gift cards, birthdays, occasions, um, Christmas and all. Always ask for gift cards and like GameStop or whatever you like to spend that. And then coop, put that in with your $5 certificate. And just kind of hold on to the uh, gift cards and only use them when you need to. I don't really buy video games constantly like that. When a new game comes out that I really want, I will jump and buy it. Otherwise, I kind of wait around for certain games. Like uh, Marvel Avengers, for example. I waited until that was like 10 bucks or 5 bucks to, to buy off of GameStop one day. Or like... Um, 
Miles Morales. I didn't buy that full price because I knew it wasn't long enough from the reviews I heard. Um, versus like Pokemon, I usually get those right away. But I didn't get Let's Go right away. I don't even think I had a Switch right then. But every Pokemon game that came out since I've had a Switch, which I got a Switch when Sword and Shield came out. So since Sword and Shield, I've bought every Pokemon game release. Like Snap, all of that. Um, so that's just an example of like where I'll spend my money. And if a cage game comes out, I buy it automatic. It's an auto buy. But other than that, I don't really buy anything like that unless they really entice me. So I'm saving my GameStop money and I usually will spend them on Funkos and like that puzzle and the um, trivia night game. And we actually played that with my family um, last week and it was actually pretty fun. It's a longer game. Um, we we'll probably should play it again today, honestly. But yeah, now on my gift card, I still have $38 on it. So that's actually enough to still buy a whole video game, like on sale. Like, if I find a video game for 35 to even, even if I want to buy a full price $60 game to so still put 38 away on it, you know, you can't really complain about having to pay the difference to that. So yeah, that's my short little haul. We got uh, the Book of Boba Fett puzzle. And uh, we got the Star Wars Trivia Night. Not Star Wars, excuse me. We got the ESPN Sports Center Trivia Night, I think. Or ESPN Trivia Night. So, yeah, I'm excited to work on that puzzle. The Boba Fett, the Book of Boba Fett series was pretty awesome. I hope they have another season of that. Pretty exciting. Um, you know, they, they had to shoehorn my boy Mando and, and my boy Grogu in there, but I think Boba's a strong enough character and has a great following and, like, story elements to survive on his own without, like, the help of needing all these support characters. But maybe that was just to help get his show off the ground. I mean, Mandalorian used Luke, so it's like, that's just kind of how Disney runs their Star Wars now. They, they like to plop put as much characters in there as they can that's a discussion for another day though but yeah short haul 12 bucks 2 items monthly $5 for your June and I right, can't wait for July to roll around so I can do it again for July alright you guys see ya peace